And she was like, please don't. I'll give you a threesome with my best friend. You need to leave him. Like, I'm not even joking. Leave him now. He used to invite his ex over to our house because we used to live together in the same house. And the worst part about this was you could definitely say I left that relationship with a whole bunch of mental illnesses. Like Now I was a little kid. I was literally 16 years old. But ladies, know your worth. Don't be stupid like I was. If he treats you like shit, leave. Things that my ex-girlfriends did, but I still stayed. I caught my ex texting her ex-boyfriend. Kid, I was literally 16 years old. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing, darling. It's going to go a long way. I mean, I'm so happy that we are at a time where women can share their stories about their experiences in relationships and what they took. Like... After, after leaving the relationship, they can look back and see what they, the mistakes they made and what they put up with, and they can learn so much from that. And that is going to uh, affect the new relationships they're moving on to because sometimes, no matter how bad the experiences were, they had a good, they, they had, uh, sorry, not good experience. No matter how bad the situation was, they have had experience from those instances in their relationships and they're going to take it on to the future they're going to take the good out of that because most of the things i've listened to are really toxic i mean at some point i'll be like how did this lady put up with this how did they how could they put up with such level of disrespect with such le with such level of uh emotional abuse financial abuse manipulation mm. oh my god how how but ladies know your worth don't be stupid like i was if he treats you like shit leave things that my ex-girlfriends did but i still stayed i caught my ex texting her ex-boyfriend i miss you y'all might be thinking to yourself you really just let that slide i was really young and she was my first throat goat. <laughs> On top of that, she was the she was the first manipulative woman I like ever encountered. Like she was the one that taught me that sometimes when women are wrong, they like to cry to get out of situations. She was actually about to give me sloppy toppy when I found out. See, I took her phone to record the act of her going crazy on me, and he texted her, "I miss you too, babe." And I was like, "Yo, what's this?" And she just act like she didn't see it. She made me bust twice. I literally passed out right afterwards. I woke up. She cried, gaslit me. I looked in her phone. It wasn't there. Fast forward, we've experienced things. My standards are a lot higher. I caught my ex um, messaging another guy. Now he slid her DMs. He called her cute and she ended up rejecting him, but she fed into it way longer than she should have. It made me uncomfortable. I'm like, look, if you want attention from other men, that's all you. And she was like, please don't. I'll give you a threesome with my best friend. Um, yeah, so we... <laughs> I was like, it's just a little... He just, it was just a little flirting. It was, we could, I could overlook it. And then, you know, we had the threesome. And then I broke up with her two weeks later. Or the story, um, young Mark was very easily persuaded by sex. <laughs> Things my ex did, but I still stayed. Oh, oh my God, manipulative, and for her to tell him that <laughs> women often cry to get out of situations. <laughs> Is that true? Maybe I'm the only woman who doesn't cry to get out of situations, you know. But I mean, men, women, boys, girls, we shouldn't be so manipulative. We shouldn't be so toxic. We shouldn't be disrespectful in relationships, but. Like we say, so many bad people in relationships and they will keep on being disrespectful, being manipulative and being emotionally, be abusing their partners emotionally and financially, you know, but we all should learn from these uh, experiences that have been shared because that's the only way that we can have, like, be on the alert. We can always be, be like, watch out for this kind of these kinds of people who are who are just going into relationships just just for the sake of it they're just going to play they're not they're not there for something serious they're just playing you know because how can you be in a relationship with a guy but you're chatting with other guys like the the part where he said when a, a guy slid into a dm and she was 
were like chatting with a guy. She went, she took too long to reject the guy, even though she rejected the guy, but she took too long. So she, she played into it. And that's what, if you are in a relationship, you shouldn't be doing that with a guy. Same, same applies. It goes both ways. It applies to the guys as well as to the girls. I mean, if someone comes to your DM and say, hi, because most of the time I also have had so many people come into my DM and what they just come and say is hi, hi. Someone can say hi to you like for two years, three years. They don't want to say anything. And what I do is if it's someone I don't know, because I already am in a relationship and I believe in being exclusive in relationships. What I do, if someone comes and say hi in my DM, I will block them on messenger. I'll block them in the message. I'll leave them. They can, they can be on, on the public, you know, on the timeline, they can be there. Yes. If you want to tell me that you love me or you want to say something, say it on, on my timeline. That's how I do it. I block. I don't even entertain. Like if you say hi, I'm not going to say hi back. If, if it's not business, because I also have business accounts. So if it's business, yes, we can talk about business. And most people who are coming for business are not going to come and be telling you hi, hi, hi. They go straight to the point. Like I want to sell you this at this price. Are you interested? They will just go straight to the point. But people who are coming with uh, a motive, they will always come. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Before you know it, you have like 100, 1000 high halos in your inbox. Or sometimes they'll just come and say, just come and say or sometimes they'll just come and say, hi, beautiful. Hello, darling. You know, those persuasive, sweet words, they'll come and say them. And they want you to, they want to continue the chat. If they say that, just, just leave it. They will keep, if somebody's coming for something serious, they just go straight to the point. No need beating about the bush or going out of track. Just go straight to the point. So no need. And if you're doing that, that's just a sign that the person you are with in a relationship, you don't respect them. You don't value them and you are not exclusive to them. There were times where he smelled so bad that I had to force him to shower and brush his teeth. He would make me pay for literally everything and would ask me for money to buy me gifts. If I wanted to go over to his house, he would tell me that the only way I could be there was if I cleaned his whole house. I would literally have to sweep, mop, wash dishes, do the laundry, everything. He would threaten to break up with me if I didn't let him use my car because he didn't have one. And sometimes he would hide my car key so that I couldn't go anywhere, which made me be late for either school or work. He was also a really bad driver, so one time when he borrowed my car, he hit a wall and then part of my bumper just came off. And I told my parents that it was me. He also forced me to stop talking to my friends and then he would tell me to my face that they were so pretty and that he wished he could date them instead of me. He also refused to get a job and he would wait all day outside of my job until my shit finished so that I could buy him stuff. He would also try to control what I wore and would get mad if my outfit was showing too much or if it was showing too little. He would always talk about how we should join the gym and when we did, all he would do was either stare at other girls or talk about how much better they were than me. I'm not even kidding, there would be so many times when he would be like, go up to that girl and ask her what she does to work out so you can look like her. He would also ask me to write his essays and when I would say no, he would say, how stupid I was and then he would talk about how he was gonna break up with me. He would always make plans with me and then would ditch me to go hang out with his friends. And the worst part about this was let's say that we had planned to go golfing, he would ditch me and go golfing with his friends. He would also bring his dirty clothes to my house and make me do his laundry because he said that that was all I was good for. He would also constantly tell me all the things that I could do to make myself look hotter. Honestly, if any of you are dating a guy that does any of these things, you need to leave him. Like, I'm not even joking. Leave him now. Gosh. That was emotionally and mentally draining. How do you put up with this kind of a guy? I mean, oh my God, how? Ah, thank God you left. Thank God you left. Oh my God. Ah. Hmm. You need to leave him. Like, I'm not even joking. Leave him now. Things my ex did that I still stayed and I was dumb as hell. Yeah. He used to invite his ex over to our house because we used to live together in the same house and he used to be um, so upset if I said anything about it because she also is his best friend or used to be his best friend at the same time. So um, I had to be fine with it. I had to be okay with it because I had nowhere to go. So I had to not say anything about it. I used to tell him that I wanted to do stuff with him, to go out with him, to hang out with him more often. And every time we went out, um, he forced me to pay because it's my idea to go out so i had to pay for everything and or else we don't go out 
one time I was out with him and his friends and we were going to a bar but then he literally saw his ex on the way and he told me to go back home and he forced me to go or else he would have done bad stuff to me and he continued the night with his ex again if he's still best friends with his ex if he's comparing you to his ex and if he wants you to pay 100% for a date that you ask for, then he's surely not the guy for you. Thank God you left. Me, And he continued the night with his ex. Things my white ex did and I still stayed. Made me watch Love Island and chose the season where the black girl wasn't chosen and specifically asked me why the black girl wasn't chosen. Told me that I still wanna be with that person and I'm definitely struggling with this. I've always been alone my entire life and this was the first person that showed me like deep attention. So obviously I'm getting over this person even though they were like actually terrible and all my friends are like, are you crazy? But I'm still trying to get over this person. I need to get over this person and there's no going back now. Racism. Imagine dating someone or being in a relationship with someone who doesn't like you because of the way you look, because of your skin color. That you should watch uh, Love Island and you should focus on the scene where the black girl wasn't chosen. <laughs> that was a sign to show you that he doesn't love you he doesn't cherish you you're not choosing like he's just with you because of his fetish and maybe his fetish has been satisfied he has he has got what he wanted and all he has left is to use you to disrespect you to demean you you know and to humble you and i understand why you stayed because you said maybe that was the only person who had ever valued you who had ever showed you love but then he turned around and became the monster who wanted to destroy you but then thanks for sharing your story and from all these uh, videos i've seen that uh there is a common pattern the guys mostly don't like when the girls add on weight and even when the girls try to shed some weight, they follow them to the gym and they keep comparing them to other gym bodies. I mean, the other gym girls. And they even gaslight them to, to go. When they are uh, admiring the girls, they like them. When they're being probed on why they're insisting that they should go to, they should be like the gym girls. They say they want you to be like the gym girls. If your man is admiring the gym girls and he wants you, to, he's so desperate for you to be like the gym girls, then he wants a gym girl. But I don't understand why some men, I mean, if you like a gym girl, why not go for a gym girl? Why do you go for a normal girl, a girl who is just living her life, being happy, living her best life? Why do you go for her and try to change her to make her to be what you want? No. You shouldn't try to change her to be a gym girl. You should go for a gym girl. Is it because of low self-esteem? Is it because you feel you're not worthy enough to get a gym girl? So you want to make your own gym girl? That's a question that we all have to answer. And we've come to the end of this video. If you love the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disagree with what I said or what some of the girls said in this video let's continue the conversation in the comment section tell me why you disagree until next time see you all bye